So, you know, let's start uh, right away with your queries. So, first one, Kanal, I think I'm going to be coming to you. Uh, we have a query coming in uh, from Tarun, uh, sorry, uh, from uh, Marion uh, Portman, who's asking that he's holding 25 shares of uh, Muthut Finance at 1,500 rupees. So, you know, uh, what uh, should he be holding those shares? What is the levels that we should be looking at? Because they're seeing a three-day correction coming in in the stock. So, what is uh, your view on this stock? See, I think it's a good stock. You should hold on to Muthut Finance. Uh, Muthut Finance, Manapuram, they both they tend to get influenced, uh, you know, uh, based on the prices of what happens to gold. So we've seen that activity that gold prices have started to rally up, uh, both on rupee terms as well as on dollar denominated terms as well. And I think that's a, a good base, uh, you know, for Muthut Finance and Manapuram both for uh, you know the near term chart. So I would suggest a hold and expecting that if this rally continues. For the asset class, then uh, Muthus Finance can come back to at least a 1575-1580 over the next uh, maybe couple of weeks. Okay, um, the question is from Abhishek and this one's for you sort of, uh, and I'm reading it exactly as it is written. Is it safe to buy Hindustan Unilever or should you wait? I think if you look at the FMCG pack, it is clearly underperforming. When there is a no growth visible, uh, no growth signs visible in the economy, you always tend to see that buying comes into the value stocks. And now with the economic uh, economic growth on the revival path, we are talking about the revival of the industry, uh, real estate, and all. I think FMCG will will remain a laggard. So in that sense, I don't think so. HUL will outperform. Rather, it would be better. It would be great if you put money in the uh, in the capital goods uh, uh, sector like Larsen, Dubro, or maybe for that matter, banking uh, like ICIC Bank. I think that that should outperform uh, 2022 by a good margin. Kunal, the next one is coming in from you. We have a query from uh, Lalita Kumari who is asking about uh, Chumbal Fertilizer. She has bought 100 shares of Chumbal Fertilizers at 400 rupees. Now, should she book a loss? Her holding period is maximum three periods or should she be holding it? What is your view on Chumbal Fertilizers? I think if, uh, if the time frame is short term to medium term, then I think you should hold on to uh, Chumbal Fertilizers because you know the stock had been one of the strongest stocks in the last one month. In the last three, four days, uh, in, I think the last one we got, the stock went into a correction because majority of the you know stocks which were holding on to the gains corrected in the in the toughest part of the market correct, uh, volatility. And now the stock is making a bounce back again. So it's respecting its 50 day moving average, trying to uh, you know, get support closer to 370, 375 kind of levels for itself. So I think it's a good chart. If you can probably extend your time horizon from say three days, uh, I'm assuming it's three days, to maybe a couple of weeks and there is a higher probability that Chumbal fertilizers can come back above 400 levels which is your cost price. Okay, Saurabh, uh, next one is for you. We have a query on Kotak Mahindra Bank from Harsh and he's asking, he's bought Kotak Mahindra Bank at 1,800 rupees. Now, uh, you know, for a long term view, he's asking five years, uh, should I, should he switch to another bank or is it a good hold? Will this turn into a good buy for him? I think kind of growth Kotak used to say is is really missing in the last few quarters, and that is the that is why we have seen even in the private sector bank all uh, yeah the stock has underperformed. I think better would be if you have a five year kind of a horizon, better shift your money towards towards ICIC Bank. I think there are there are uh, there are brighter chance that you will uh, outperform uh, the broader market as well as Bank Nifty by a good margin. Okay, uh, just a, a small pointer, viewers, the experts may not have a view on all stocks, so we will try as far as possible to get a view. The next question is from Prasant and this one's for you Kunal. He's uh, looking for a view on I IDBI Bank uh, or IDBI First Bank. Uh, uh, sorry, IDBI Bank. I'm sorry, my uh, <laughs> accountants are getting confused. IDBI Bank, the buying level is 57. Uh, and he's wondering whether to average at the current level or to sell. What is the view for the short term? IDPI, uh, uh, I think if I'm not wrong, the stock is at 46 and a half, 47. Uh, it seems to be an okay chart. Uh, I would suggest that if you've bought at higher levels and uh, if you have that uh, uh, the capacity to try and average at current levels, I would suggest that you should look to average it out further. Because what the stock is actually going through, my sense is that the last two months or three months is a mean diversion process. 
coming closer to its 200 day moving average and i believe uh, you know with the chart prospects looking quite strong on the medium to long term charts if this moving average holds up for idba bank there should be one more uh, you know rally which could be in the offing over the medium to long term so if time frame and uh, if there is some capital which is uh, you know uh, uh, you know which is which you can still put into the stock again i would say this to average even at current levels and with a time frame of say another 6 months to 12 months look out for targets in the range of 60 to 65 Right, Kunal. Uh, you know, Kunal, actually, I'm going to come to you. There's uh, a lot of uh, short-term queries that people are asking. Uh, on, uh, we have one query from Shailaja, who's asking about, uh, can she buy um, Bajaj Holdings at the current price for a short term? I think Bajaj Holdings has been one of the few stocks which, which has been more stable in terms of chart patterns now. Over the last, uh, you know, so many years, we've seen Bajaj uh, you know, Holdings doing exceptionally well. In fact, from 2009-10, the stock which was almost at like uh, you know, 380 of 200, 300 rupees, from there it's now almost at 5,000 plus. So it's been a big multi-bagger over the last 10-12 uh, you know, years. And the chart prospects still look very attractive from a longer term play. So if you're uh, okay with holding it from a long term, then I believe you should definitely look to hold on to Bajaj Holdings and look out for these corrections, you know, which comes across like a 10% correction as a 15% correction as a good averaging opportunity. Well, coming to you on Piramal Enterprises, we've got uh, Professor Tirumala Rao who's writing in from Vishakapatnam. He's not told us uh, what level he's bought at, uh, but he's wondering on a fundamental basis, would you advise to continue to hold? I think yes, I mean, uh, the company is, continues to post good set of numbers. Their uh, healthcare division is doing absolutely good. And I don't think so there is a problem for the next few quarters. Uh, my take would be a hold on to this stock. Kanal, next one, uh, I'm, come to, uh, I'm going to come to you. K.R. Uh, Balan is asking about uh, LIC housing actually. And uh, for a 6 to 12 month view at the current price, uh, should he be buying this? And what is your view coming in on there? Well, I would suggest an avoid at current levels. Uh, you know, uh, the stock has this tendency of getting into very erratic kind of price moves where, you know, the swings in the prices are extremely, uh, you know, high. And the direction for LIC housing, when you look at the last six months of chart patterns the last one year of chart pattern it's been missing so for example just about a few days back the stock was almost at its 52 week low for itself now given at a time when the markets are just getting into a mean diversion process this stock has been one of the few stocks which has come back to its 52 week low so that sort of tells you the weakness or the underlying weakness of chart patterns relative to its other peers so i would suggest an avoid Okay, Kunal, coming back to you on this next one, we've got uh, Madhava, who is a senior citizen from uh, Kerala, asking about Nalco, uh, bought at levels of 105, uh, wondering to book out from this and uh, move to something like an ICICI bank. Well, I think you can do both. Uh, in fact, uh, I would suggest that you hold on to Nalco and if possible, then if you have additional capital, then maybe uh, even add ICICI bank if you don't have uh, you know, that stock in your portfolio. For Nalco specifically, I think the stock is looking extremely strong on the long-term charts. Now, you know, we've we've discussed about the cycles for metal stocks, commodity themes, uh, you know, stocks. That how many of these stocks have given a, a five-year, ten-year breakouts. Nalco has also given that breakout. But remember, in the last one month, when or two, three months, when the market, when the metal stocks have gone through corrections, not many stocks are trading, uh, you know, uh, at their 52-week highs for themselves. But Nalco has come back closer to its, uh, you know, monthly high. So it's a very strong chart, uh, and I would sense that if given a time frame of another, say, a couple of years. The stock has capacity to come back to even 140, 150 levels. So if you can hold Nalco, that will be great. And as I said, ICC Bank looks to be an attractive risk reward buy from current juncture. Next query for you. We have a query coming in from Chintan Kapadia, who's asking about Access Bank. Now his average buy price is at around 575 levels. Now he's not gotten good returns. He's been holding it for a while. So, you know, should he be switching his investment somewhere else, like any other bank like SBI, ICICI Bank or sticking to Access Bank as of now? I think if you look at, uh, if you have uh, listened to the management clearly, Mr. Amitabh has uh, 
been quite a vocal that it would take few quarters uh, for excess bank to come on a good growth path uh, uh, the bank is lacking in terms of the it, its peers so it would be a great idea if you can switch money towards icic bank which is growing above industry average with clean balance sheet higher provision coverage ratio with net interest margin continuously improving quarter on quarter i think you will be uh, highly rewarded if you convert your holding into icic bank. okay um let's take up an, another question we've got uh, sudha who's asking about beml um she's asking about multiple stocks but uh, i will only take one uh, beml is the name of the counter kunal what would be the advice would you buy the current level if you bought would you hold uh, even though the stock has retraced from its uh, you know 52 week highs i think 2100 or 2080 was the the 52 week high for beml but then the prospects when you look at the volumes the situation of uh, indicators on the monthly quarterly charts it looks very attractive and i would suggest that uh, if the stock you know goes through one more uh, you know retest of that 2100 mark that could lead to a big breakout almost like a, a 15 14 15 year breakout for beml so that's worth waiting for so i would suggest the hold come back to you again because we have a query specifically someone is asking on radico khetan your view and is it uh, good for long term or short term what is your your view on that so i think it's been a phenomenal stock radico has done exceptionally well over the last uh, you know 12 months and i think when you look at the liquor uh, you know stocks and specifically the last uh, you know from the pandemic lows radico has been one of the second strongest uh, you know name i think other than global spirit which has done exceptionally well been a multiplier from those effects so i think the long term charts are very interesting so i would suggest that have a longer term time horizon for such kind of names because what happens is on short term charts when these stocks get into an overbought territory there is possibly a time wise correction or a time time consolidation which could happen so radico looks very attractive from a longer term play okay ajay has got a question on sbi cards he is holding at levels of 1021 sort of on the fundamentals would you hold on to this or would you switch to something else i think they have been uh, putting up a good show they have been consistently going go at good double digit and with the uh, negligible uh, you know uh, delinquency ratio so i uh, i am expecting this stock to go uh, to go good and uh, i'll i'll, uh, I'll uh, put a uh, hold on to this arab you know uh, we have a query actually for long term for kpr mills what's your view on that uh, it's from kj singh he's asking on a long term view all the textile and you know retail manufacturer are, are doing good so especially on the exports us and europe side and i think the demand is quite robust and uh, especially uh, the september and december quarters are likely to be good for the company and that is what uh, the, uh, the stock has also outperformed on the basis i think it will continue to do good uh, so my take would be a hold on to it um sorob i'm hoping that you have a view on this tata steel long products we've got chandran <coughs> who bought at levels of 810 slightly elevated levels uh, the stock is currently trading at 720 uh would you suggest that he hold on based on the fundamentals or would you say that he should book losses and move to something else if you look at the global economics there is a clear slowdown in the china which is putting a pressure on the all the commodities especially metal prices the you know these companies would continue to be uh, you know profitable but at the same time the valuations were scorching in the month of june and july and uh, from from there onwards we haven't seen price uh, going back up to to the levels we have seen that on, on uh, at that time so i think uh, these uh, these companies would continue to make money but the but the arbitrage between the global and domestic prices have reduced enough and there is a major correction in the uh, in the uh, prices abroad in the metal prices abroad and also there is a softness in the prices in the domestic market i would rather expect i would rather recommend to get out of the uh, tata long steel and uh, switch money to maybe uh, uh, bigger uh, names like reliance industry or maybe on the capital good side like lars and dupro he coming in from kerala from rohit mathew who's asking about uh, he's bought 50 shares of uh, hero motor corp at 2550 rupees so uh, what is he, he should be doing uh, with hero motor corp so i would suggest that uh, 
if you bought at 2550 levels you don't bought at the high end of the price trend for hero motor corp but then uh, you know there has to be some rational why you bought hero motor corp i i would assume that it's not just because the stock was cheap and was trading at its uh, maybe a, a ytd low yearly lows for itself i i hope that was not the reason but i would suggest that if you're looking to buy uh, or park in additional funds then rather than averaging hero motor corp at current juncture look out for something like tata motors or maybe an mnm mahindra mahindra at current juncture because both these stocks they look relatively strong from an overall automotive uh, in automobile pack so hero motor corp you can probably hold on to it and you know let the stock come back to your cost price and then you can decide whether you want to exit or hold uh, but then uh, i think if you are looking at parking additional funds then rather than adding on hero motor corp i would suggest either looking at tata motors or mnm uh, at current juncture Okay, Kunal, coming back to you. This is a question from Mr. Sitaram Ganesh. He's writing in from Chennai. It's on Happiest Minds, and he's bought uh, at an average price of one thousand three hundred and eighty, slightly elevated levels. Uh, the stock is currently trading around one thousand two hundred and thirty or one thousand two hundred and twenty-five, and he's wondering whether he can get his cost price. Absolutely, I I think it's a brilliant stock. Uh, you know, from a medium to longer term play, even though the history is a bit restricted with the Span of in the last 12 months or 13 months is the history for price history for Happiest Minds, but then the rally which had happened for Happiest Minds from those 300, 350 odd levels towards 1500, I think has been spectacular. Uh, what that rally had done was uh, bring many of the indicators, a majority of the uh, momentum indicators, into a deep overbought territory, and which is why from those 1500 levels, I think it was in July. Uh, 2021, the stock had gone through a time correction. So possibly over the next maybe couple of months, the stock may continue to uh, trade in this time correction or a or a sideways zone. But then um, I think maybe somewhere in uh, mid 2022 or second half of 2022 is where I would expect a big breakout coming out for Apple Mines yet again. So I would suggest that hold on to it and possibly if you can hold on to it from a longer term play, the chart prospects look very very attractive from that time frame. Okay, thank you so much for that, Kunal. But you know, now we're going to actually start our rapid fire round, and you know, I'm going to come to sort of first you. We have Abhijit K Rao asking about uh, he's purchased thousand shares of Hathaway at twenty three. Should he buy or sell, or what should he be doing with that? Sort of that one is for you. I think he can hold on to the same. Okay, Kunal, this one's for you, uh, or rather, sort of. This was uh, this is for you. ONGC. So Shiel is uh, uh, holding on to the stock at two hundred. Should he sell or should he hold? Uh, from the ONGC, uh, I would uh, I would recommend a sell on to it. Uh, Purna is asking. He has bought uh, Polyplex Corporation of 65 at 65 shares at one thousand five hundred and fifty. Hold or sell? What are you talking uh, saying on this one? I would suggest a hold. Say the name. Okay, Kunal. This one's for you. Trident is the stock uh, at the current price. RT is asking whether it is a buy. It's a buy, oh, but we did see some corrections over the near to medium term as well. You know the stock has done exceptionally well in the last 12, 13 months. So be ready for some corrections, but then uh, looks very attractive. You can start buying on stages from current levels. Okay, and uh, you know uh, just on uh, Kotak Mahindra Bank uh, buy, sell, hold. Sort of what are you suggesting? I would rather recommend to switch to ICICI Bank. Kunal Centrum, uh, the stock has been bought at levels of forty-six. Uh, Pintu is asking whether to hold on for two months. I would suggest an exit. Okay. Sarab LIC uh, Housing, we have coming in uh, from K R Balana. Uh, short term, uh, what should he be doing? Uh, buy or hold? Or what would you suggest on that? I think they have problem with their margins and the and the balance sheet. Uh, there is a, a higher delinquency rate. I would rather recommend to switch money to the uh, to uh, to a bank like SBI. All right, gentlemen. On that note, we're completely out of time, and all the viewers tuning in as well. I know that a few of you are asking, please can you slip this in? But unfortunately, we're out of time on this edition of the query segment. 
Uh, we'll be back tomorrow though to take more queries. Gentlemen, thank you so much as always for taking the time and uh, we'll speak to you soon. We're slipping into a short break, but there's more on the other side, so do stay tuned.